UC Agriculture and Natural Resources has nine research and extension centers, or RECs, found across California. Kearney RAC is a facility located in Parlier, at the heart of the San Joaquin Valley. Kearney is located on 330 acres of some of the most productive land in the world, and it is renowned for its agricultural research and education programs. It resembles a mini-university campus crossed with a farm. There are multiple research buildings and many field studies take place in its vineyards, orchards, and fields. Ryan Puckett is a staff research associate at Kearney. He's going to give us a quick glimpse of some of the work taking place at the REC. Um, we have dormitories here at Kearney. Um, we're not at complete capacity now, but there are, I think there's three rooms, three bedrooms in each. Uh, two bathroom, kitchen, and a living room. And, and so that's where people are visiting students, scholars, researchers, well, they'd stay there. Ryan is also the greenhouse manager. One thing he does is help keep the climate calibrated to the needs of the scientists and their plants. In the greenhouse, we meet Ping Gu. Ping is a citrus entomology researcher with UC Riverside. She conducts experiments on different ways to control the wide variety of pests afflicting citrus crops. Bugs are a big deal for farmers, which means they're a big deal for researchers at Kearney. Much of the research here and at other RECs is testing the most effective management practices. Insectaries at Kearney keep the scientists supplied with plenty of pests. Another major problem for farmers is invisible to the naked eye. Just a handful of soil contains thousands of a microscopic type of worm called nematodes. Some nematodes can cause severe damage to crops, so they have been the subject of keen research interest since the earliest days at Kearney Rec. Today, lab techs extract thousands and thousands of nematode samples, like those from the almond roots seen here, to use in experiments. Cankers are another problem facing almond growers. Cankers are caused by a bacteria that causes dead areas on trees. Rosa Jaime Frias is a lab assistant in the laboratory of UC Davis plant pathologist Florent Trouillat. Dr. Trouillat is an associate professor of cooperative extension, and among other things, he studies tree cankers. One of the most impressive features of Kearney Rec is its cold storage capacity. These rooms keep multiple harvests fresh for the researcher's use, and they also test how different crop varieties change over time. Judging the quality of the produce is often the job of volunteers at Kearney Rec's Sensory Evaluation Lab. They are seated in these booths and asked to rate taste, appearance, and other properties of produce. One of the next uh, sensory panels is going to be blueberries, and they're going to do test the effects of lighting and the reflectance on the blueberries and the effect that has on you know, sensory evaluation. So, so we're going to you know, enclose this area in curtains and darken it up, and then we hope you enjoyed this brief glimpse into a day in the life of Kearney Rec. For Ryan, it's the variety of crucial work happening at the facility, as well as the diversity of people making it all happen, that make his job with UC ANR so rewarding. We're doing things right here. We're not just dumping chemicals and getting rid of a problem. We're looking at you know, ways to manage problems that are you know, more environmental friendly, and you know we're trying to be good stewards of, of the valley ecosystem. So I enjoy being part of that team. It's a large team we have here. It's not just the Kearney facility, but it's the entire rec center uh, system. Um, so I appreciate being part of that team. If you'd like to know more about UCANR and what we're doing to make California a better place, please subscribe, like, and share.